At long last, we have a really, really, really good Transformer movies. Bumblebee is now finally on DVD. Hey everyone. <laughs> I don't know what I was going with that. Um, this is Joseph from Action X3000 bringing you another DVD unboxing for you today. The last one we're going to have in quite a while. We had an amazing run of DVD unboxing from... Um, what was the first one? I completely forgot what the first one was. It was a November movie. Um, from that until now, I, I, this was a very fun ride getting a bunch of new DVDs each and every week. Now sadly that has to come to an end. You know, at some point we got to take a little bit of a break. I mean, that doesn't mean to say that DVDs are not coming out. There's not movies coming back out of the DVD or Blu-ray. It's just, at least for me, there's nothing on the horizon for a while that would um, contempt me to um, do this. And I believe this is going to be the last movie in a while that's going to have a DVD unboxing with the review. Because from what I see coming up, um, everything has their own movie review now, or at least from what I remember. Anyway, so here's Bumblebee. Um, there's a lot, a lot of package, a lot of waiting on this movie since... We had to carry the baggage from the Transformers movies, and sadly, as you are very well aware, the majority of them have been... I'm, I'm not going to even sugarcoat it. It's crap. They're, they were all crap garbage, pieces of shit. Um, last night was a waste of my fucking time. Um, but that's my that's my opinion. Um, so when, when Bumblebee came out, um, from the first trailer onward, it sort of glimmered a little bit of hope. Like, oh my god, we could possibly get the first great Transformers movie, or if George... Uh, if, if, if what George has to say about it is that it's finally, we finally have the first Transformers movie. And after seeing this, it definitely was, and I'll give my thoughts on it later. So here's Bumblebee. Um, no offense, kind of a really weird Photoshop job here with the cover. We got, like, the three leads, Bumblebee, um, Haley Steinfeld's character, and John Cena's character. I completely forgot their names. Oh, John Cena's character, I think, is Mr. Burns or something, I believe. Um, side profile, we get Bumblebee and Haley Steinfeld's character as the, the side icons on the back. Very hilarious how they said the best Transformers movie yet. Now, of course, the way they say it like that implies that, um, so blurry, uh, that's fine, I don't know. Um, that is, what, what was I going with this? Um, they admit, Paramount's admitting like, oh yeah, we, we understand the previous ones were crap. And I think finally, they finally find the right director, the right writers to make a great one. And, um, let's open this up. And sadly to say, this ends the three-week, um, cycle of having a secondary disc on the, uh, in, in the thing. It really sucks, but of course, I knew all, all things have to come to an end. And I apologize, that, that, that came out really horribly angled. Um, what do I think of Bumblebee? Now, honestly... Going into Bumblebee again, I had a lot, my expectations were in check, since obviously this was, by the end of the day, a Transformers movie. Um, this was going to be a movie where it's a prequel, so it's like, it's got to set up Transformers 1, in a way, in a matter of speaking. Um, and then, um, this movie came out, and it's like, my god, they finally made a great movie. Finally made a great Transformers movie. I loved it from start to finish. I really enjoyed the, the lightheartedness. I love, like, um... I think the action in the last four to five, which was all of them, so I don't know, the, the, in the, the entire series. Very convoluted mess. Very, like, action-oriented, like, full-on two-time speed. This one took its time with, in terms of its action scene. We got a very beautiful um, designs for the Autobots and the Decepticons that are in this movie. The Cybertron scene, um, I think I told someone this. I honestly would be down to see a full-on Cybertron movie. I have no knowledge much of the lore of Transformers, but I would definitely be down for a Cybertron movie um, in the animation style of this movie, and god damn, that was awesome. Um, I love Haley Stifo's character, ironically. She had an, she had two movies released around this time, so she had a hell of a December. John Cena, another wrestler turned actor, really did a good job. I really did like him. Will John Cena ever be like The Rock? I don't think so, but in terms of this movie, he did a really solid job in the in, in the role. Um, the rest of the supporting cast did well. The story, for once, was a very toned down, this isn't the end of the world thing, you know, this isn't that. I mean, it could have led to the end of the world, but it, it didn't. It was just more like a, I don't, I'm not spoiling stuff here, but it's like, it was very much a said, this is what we have to do, this is what the bad guys do, and we need to stop them. And that was very simple, and, and that's what this movie had to be. This movie had to be a simple, um, low toned down at-stakes Transformers movie, because we've been burned so many times with the whole end-of-the-world thing, big ma mayhem destruction, and thankfully Bumblebee, from what I hear, is going to be the start of a new universe, which is like, I am definitely down, because the way Bumblebee ended, I'm going to be honest, 
they had to end it the way it did because they have to set up Transformers 1. Why Bumblebee was in, I think it was San Francisco, I believe. I don't remember exactly the, the city. I haven't watched Transformers in a long time, nor will I ever try to go back to because, god damn, those movies were oh un unbearable for me. Um, but overall, I really enjoyed Bumblebee from start to finish. I would definitely recommend it for anyone who is just a casual fan, a Transformers fan. It's a fun, it's a fun movie. It's a fun popcorn movie, and I really enjoy the hell out of it. And yeah, go pick up Bumblebee. Um, best deal right now for Bumblebee: Target, eighteen dollars. Um, was not gonna buy Best Buy again because I got screwed over Aquaman for that. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. If you like this DVD unboxing, please like it, share it, favorite. It. Share it with your friends. I think I said share it three times, but whatever. I, I love being redundant sometimes. Um, I will be back with many videos. I don't know why I said that. I I'm really... I just woke up. I really just woke up. And I'll see you guys.